That's it. I'm joined here by Pat O'Connor. Claire have pulled off a magnificent victory here in Watford. Uh, probably a lot of people wouldn't have given you a lot, a, a lot of a chance coming down here into the fortress at Watch, Watch Park, Pat. But she came down and you set down a marker straight away, that early goal especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, look, you can do all the planning you want, all the tactics, all that, but it's going to come down to a couple of moments uh, in in the middle of a game and, and we got a goal and they, I lost even a minute for a run there and he just uh, glanced wide and those are huge moments in a game um, and that's what it boiled down to. We were six points up at half time um, and with that, that cushion seems to go far too quickly. Yeah. But we held on and the bravery shown, like, as the ball was raining down here and the lads were contesting balls up there knowing that you know, if, if they lose this ball then it's probably going to might well end up scored it with the ball for the head or levels it or whatever but um, no the bravery lads sort of all over the field today you know how many times you see a match like that into the draw where the home team has all the momentum wind everything behind them but uh, in fairness to lads just they stood up all over the place and even younger guys up a few crucial points and we're just delighted, just delighted with yeah them. Yeah, well, you were up. You, you had that lead, and you held on to it up to half time, and into her, after that, Mart were bound to have a patch, but they got a run, and you. But I, I suppose that's where you really stood up, uh, Pat. Yeah. You didn't let that. You know, last year against Cork was a completely different story. Yeah. Well, we were playing really well, and we didn't get the win. Yeah, Today yeah, we yeah. played well, yeah. and we got the yeah, win. Yeah, and it was mentioned that, that it was mentioned in the dressing room at half time. You know, we we were in the Munster final last year, and probably in a similar situation, but. Um, uh, we, we, we'll be blessed again, no doubt, but it just came off today. And we're just delighted, absolutely delighted. Um, you know, plenty to prove on. Like, uh, you know, I don't know what we to see. Won't win more, much Munster hurling matches anyway. Um, you know, left a few behind us, particularly at the start of the half when we were kind of trying to stamp our authority on it again, a few wides and a few just um, you know, lazy shots maybe, or just not clinical enough. And then they got to run, as inevitably they do, like, um, you know, in Cork and Tip, I'm sure one team went ahead and the other team got a, a, a purple patch and matches all over the country. Teams just get a run in you and it's how you come back from them, halt them, whatever you do is ultimately what usually decides the game. Yeah, you have a strong panel now. Ed, Ed McCarthy came on there, he, he made a difference. Adam Shannon came on, you know. So you have the panel of players now as well to, yeah, to go on yeah, and, and do yeah, bigger we things. Do, we do. And I've, some of those guys that have come in, the younger guys, they are hugely impressed by the general grinder today in Carty Vine Taylor. Like the work them lads are putting in behind the scenes just to just to put their names forward and put their cases forward is is, is keeping us older fellas on our toes anyway, I tell you. But um, no, it bodes well anyway because the reality is those lads are going to they're going to be down the spine of the team in five or six years' time and uh, you know uh, you'll be coming, we'll, we'll be in the sand row and then and so um, yeah. you know, they, they're, they're great lads to be. Yeah, Tony Kelly had a magnificent game, five points from play. I mean, you, you, you want that from Tony and you get yeah, it. Yeah, he's, Tony's, Tony's seven, eight years at that now and he's, you know, he's expected to do that every day. He goes out and teams, every single team, you can be sure is a plan to stop Tony Kelly and he still manages to always stand up for his uh, yeah. top, top guy and, and uh, a great, great friend and great person in the dressing room as well. Yeah, heading into training, heading, uh, uh, heading into recovery tomorrow and probably training Tuesday night. I'll be pepping your step now, and you'll be welcome and tip in a few weeks' time. You'll be long break now for two weeks. That's right, yeah. Um, you don't need much motivation to get up for a tip again. Um, I'm sure they will. Uh, if you weren't sitting in a temporary just room having to care after last year, they won't be short in motivation as well. So this will be brushed under the carpet fairly quickly. Um, but we we'll, we'll enjoy it for tonight and uh, and get back down to, to brass tacks uh, later on in the week. Patrick, a nice position to be in by comparison to 12 months ago when you started with the defeat. Yeah, you, you, uh, absolutely, you know, absolutely. Um, a very nice position to be in, but um, it's still, we, we, 12 months ago we lost, and we still, it was in the dressing room afterwards, we said, oh, this is still wide open. Uh, when your next game, and you're right back on it. It's the exact same, no, if we lose the next game, we're, um, we're arguing on the back foot, so it's very much on to the next one now, and I know that's been a very cliche, uh, Bodies right, and uh, I'm sure we're going to have sore bodies after that today. And uh, to start building up again and, and, and take confidence from yourself because this isn't an easy place to come. Any way it is, an easy place to come. And uh, as I said, for lads, for lads, it's all over the place. They're just drawing that and building it, and uh, hopefully it'll be a, a, a long summer there for us. You kept your nerve, like you said, 
and you were under siege at the end, you know. Yeah. I think it was three 20 meter frees, you know, yeah, and again yeah. one bounced yeah. off the ground over. So, <laughs> yeah. again, let me tell you, they were very close to going yeah. in. Um, very close. Do uh, just little heads put through their body in front of it, and when you, when you approach the game as honest as that, you, you, I, feel, I find over, over my career that you'll get the break sooner or later, and uh, I couldn't say enough about that. They were just very honest, very hard working, uh, and uh, the talent to back it up there. But it would have killed you not to come away with the two points because you were the better team for a long stretch of the yeah, game, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, no, it probably is a, is a concern, but the crowd, the, the wind, the, and the head were in the, the midst of their proper patch, and the two points they were going to the stage, and they did, and Marsh and Nelson were there all the square, the quality of us, the more control, and they won their run, and that's, that's just, um, we held out, like, we I mean, ultimately we held out, we don't get any more points for, for winning by six than you do for one, and, uh, it was never going to be any, any, any other case here uh, today when you were playing away in the Munster Championship in, in Walsh Park. Thanks, thanks very much, Dad. Uh, Ronald, thanks very much. Well done. Thank you, sir. Straight home now.